Thank you, everybody. We're really excited to be here this evening with you and share this program of beautiful guitar music in the beautiful mountains. I know that most of you are familiar with University of North Carolina School of the Arts, uh, but I'll just mention a couple things that are meaningful to me. Um, our state legislature was very visionary back in the 1960s when it conceived of this idea of, of creating the first state-supported arts conservatory in the country. And so in 1964, University of North Carolina School of the Arts was chartered and chosen to be in Winston-Salem. It's one of the campuses of the University of North Carolina system. And at the time it was founded, it included a guitar program where somebody could get a degree as a professional guitarist. And that was one of the first schools in the United States to include guitar as a conservatory instrument. And now you find that in almost every serious music college in, around the world. Um, so I brought with us three of our young, uh, young fellow artists. We have students studying for bachelor's degrees in music, master's degrees in music, and also a residential high school program. So the young lady on our program, Alexis Ward, is a senior finishing our high school program this year. And Kyle Brooks and Herring Go are in the college program. They'll tell you a little bit about their music, so they don't need me to explain that. While they are students right now studying to be professionals, they already have budding careers. They have interests and activities in a lot of different kind of musics. Uh, Alexis Sword and Kyle Brooks are both part of ensembles that are making full-length commercial recordings right now. It should be finished uh, before the end of this year. Uh, Herring Go just performed a concert on a professional series last night in Greensboro, and it's played in many competitions and other festival settings. So you are hearing very fine student performers, but you're also actually hearing very fine professional artists tonight. So I uh, hope you'll help me welcome the first performer, Alexis Ward. I'm going to start off with, uh, oh, how about that? I'm going to start off with a beloved little piece from Leonard Bernstein's West Side Story. This is Maria.
thank you so much. It's off again. Thanks. <laughs> um, I'm going to play, the next two pieces I'm going to play are Umruhe um, by Johann Kaspar Mertz. Um, that's Hungarian for restlessness or agitation, and you can really hear that in this piece. Um, it's got a lot of really fast, agitated arpeggiation. Um, and then I'm going to play uh, Girl with the Flaxen Hair by Claude Debussy, and this is very characteristic of Debussy's very um, open kind of style. It sounds like a beautiful girl with flaxen hair. So.
This last uh, piece I'm going to play is uh, the Sakura theme and variations. Um, this is an old Japanese folk song that was arranged for guitar. Um, the original instrument it played on was an instrument called the koto, and you can really hear um, the way the guitar is used, how it's trying to mimic that instrument. Um, Sakura translates to cherry blossoms, um, which kind of represents the theme of these variations. It's very much about the cyclical aspect of nature and um, kind of how, uh, you know, life comes out of death and growth comes out of decay. And that's seen in the cherry blossoms that bloom for only a very short amount of time before they die. Um, so that's seen in this theme and variations. I hope you enjoy.
My name's Kyle Brooks, um, and I'll be playing a selection of pieces um, by one of Bach's greatest works. It's his first cello suite, um, originally composed in the key of G major. I'll be playing a transcribed uh, version for the guitar in the key of D major. Um, this piece was originally written sometime in the early 1700s, um, and when Bach originally composed these pieces, um, he was trying to write music um, that was polyphonic, which is an advanced way uh, to say that music um, that is composed of two voices or multiple notes um, being played simultaneously. This concept is rather hard for the cello because uh, the cello is played with a bow, um, making it kind of hard to play multiple notes at the same time. However, on the guitar, this is a rather easy concept. Um, so, I actually believe uh, that these pieces are suited better on the guitar. Um, so, I invite you to sit back um, and indulge uh, in the full palette of color the guitar unlocks in this music and ebb and flow um, in the beautiful melodies of the great Baroque composer Johann Sebastian Bach.
Hello, everyone. Um, so I will start my set with um, a piece by Frederico More uh, Moreno Dorova, which is a composer from uh, Spain. <clears throat> and um, in this piece, he incorporate um, some very Spanish style into this very classical, uh, classically set uh, piece. Um, and you can, you can. Um, you can see the the Spanish style from the sort of um, sort of the the what is it called the, the rhythm uh, the pattern rhythm patterns of the piece um, that the piece present.
piece I'll be playing is um, a little bit less conventional than the, the pieces you've heard so far in the, in the program. Um, it's by a Mexican composer uh, by the name of Manuel Ponce. Um, and the piece is a theme variation and finale. And, um, in this piece, uh, Ponce uh, incorporates some of um, the the folk song and music uh, from Mexico and included in included in the piece and made sort of a, a, um, six variations from um, and um, to sort of demonstrate the um, sort of the the harmony and the sort of it's kind of a weird piece um, <laughs> <laughs> and um, <clears throat> but in in this kind of unconventional harmony he hit some of some very beautiful passages that hopefully I'll be able to bring it out for you.
is um, one of my favorite pieces, um, and it is also a theme and variation, um, but on this time on a theme by Mozart, and the composer, Fernando Sor, um, was inspired by a passage from Mozart um, opera, The Magic Flute, and in this, um, this particular scene, Pagani, Pagan, yeah, <laughs> um, he played a, a passage that sort of kind of brings everything back to life and bring sunlight to to the darkness and um and uh hopefully i can i can introduce the same effect uh, uplifting effect with this piece <laughs> <laughs> 